we're going to be looking at the effects of damping on an oscillation. Damping is the loss of energy to an oscillation due to the resistive forces that act on the oscillation. And as a result, the damping reduces the amplitude of the oscillation to zero. That is, the oscillation would return to its rest, its equilibrium position. Light damping is when a small resistive force acts on the oscillation to slowly reduce its amplitude to zero. An example would be an oscillation moving through air, so experiencing the resistive force of air resistance. Heavy damping involves a very large resistive force acting on an object that has been displaced from its equilibrium position and this large force returns the display system back to its equilibrium position without any oscillation. So the displacement time graph looks like this. An example of heavy damping would involve a system moving through very viscous thick oil. Another example is swing doors that above them have a door closer damper which returns the swing door to its rest position without oscillating and it also returns it not too fast so that it, it doesn't knock a person who is passing through it. And finally, critical damping is heavy damping in the shortest possible time. That is, you have a resistive force that brings a display system back to equilibrium in the shortest possible time without oscillating. An example would be shock absorbers in cars that critically damp the car suspension to stop the suspension from producing a bouncy ride. The world's largest earthquake damper is a 728 tonnes, and tonnes means 1000 kg, steel pendulum suspended in the Taipei 101 building And the pendulum swings in the opposite direction in which the building would be moving due to very strong winds or earthquakes. And so the pendulum can damp the oscillation of the building by 40%. When the Millennium Bridge opened in 2000, it had to be closed a few months later because of excessive wobbling of the bridge when people were walking over it. And so they had to add dampers to the bridge to stop this wobbling motion. So the chevron dampers to reduce sideways motion and the spring dampers to reduce the up-down motion of the bridge.